Welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Emma and this is Emma's Cottage. In today's tutorial, we're going to do something entirely different than we've ever done before. You guys know that when you, or if you follow my channel, you know that we like to do do it yourself projects. You know, primarily we've been doing t-shirts and sublimation, but there is a reason I've got my husband with me today. This is Brad. So say hi, Brad. Hey, Brad. <laughs> we got a new thing to play with. Um, and it's something that him and I are going to do together. We're so excited to share it with you. So do you want to show everyone what we got? This is called the Goliath. So it's amazing. This is actually a woodworking CNC machine. Um, it's kind of the first of its kind. Yeah. It's brand new. Um, well, I should say it's somewhat brand new. They had a Kickstarter for a little while um, and they're now getting past that point and you can actually purchase these yourself. So I saw someone do it on TikTok. It looked amazing. We've been thinking about getting a CNC machine, but trying to figure out where we're gonna store it. Cause some of them can be really big and they can take up a lot of space out in your garage. Well, this one is really awesome. We're gonna go ahead and unbox it today so that you guys can kind of see the excitement that we have, um, see what comes with you know everything in the package. I'm just super excited to dip into the world of CNC and make some fun woodworking projects. What I really want to make is like silhouettes. So Christmas, Halloween, you know, silhouettes for your windows, for your yard, um, even just cute little silhouettes that you can maybe put around your house. Yeah. What are you thinking? What do you want to make with uh, this? <clears throat> well, for me, with like the woodworking, the epoxy tables, stuff like that, that I like to do, um, a lot of cool designs. I don't know. I think there's, it's going to be limitless. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah. I'm Plus, so building excited. cabinets, I mean, they used to go out to build. So it'll be nice to just multitask, have this cutting out a uh, whole cabinet, and I can be doing one on, as well. And yeah. they'll just speed it up. So yeah. it's going to be great. Yeah. And if I didn't tell you, <laughs> this wonderful husband of mine, he made all of my cabinets. So if you guys follow me on YouTube, you saw my studio transform. Like I pretty much, I used to have gray walls and a piano here and I didn't really have much. So my, my studio completely transformed as he made these cabinets for me. Um, he is not a professional woodworker, but he does an awesome job. Super, I mean, I think he could be professional. Uh, we both have different daytime weekday jobs, but these are our hobbies. Mine, of course, is do-it-yourself projects. So is his, his is primarily woodworking though. Yeah. So super excited to just branch out a little bit more and make some awesome projects with Goliath. So without further ado, let's tear it open and let's see what's inside. I really like where it says on the side, take the CNC out of the box. Take it out of the box, Brad. Okay, so the first thing we see, let's see, there's a little white piece of, if I can grab it, little white piece of paper here. So it looks like it's the instructions to remove the pogo pins plastic protection. Okay, all right, so some instructions right there. And then a big piece of yellow paper. That what's in the box? So that's kind of nice. It's going to make sure that we're, we're going to go through and check these things off to make sure that everything is in the box that they say is in the box. How exciting is that? Let me show you. And it's easily folded. So you can fold it up to be able to store it. Goliath. All right. What is in? Let's pull the first thing out. Should I look at the picture and see what it is? That is the power cord stand. According to this picture, let's bring it over here. Here's your power cord stand. What else? Ooh. Look at it. He's so pretty. <laughs> So there's not very many. The one, the one downside is it's so new that we have not been able to find hardly any tutorials on it. Like this is mainly, it's, it's just so new that people are showing like, Ooh, look at this project I made, but there's no tutorials on this is how you do this. And this is how you do that. Um, there is some that the, the Goliath company or yeah, they, they have a few tutorials, but I'm just hoping that if you guys are interested in something like this, let us know because if you are, then we definitely can do some woodworking tutorials and show you how it works. Yeah. I think they call these omni omnidirectional wheels so that it can like move in all the different ways. 
Again, you guys, we're learning about this machine at the same time we're showing it to you. There has not been very much online teaching us how. Okay, so these two things that I just pulled out, it says that these are called positioning sensors. So from the videos that we have seen, you basically will put these on the edge of your, let's say we're gonna do it at, eight, what is it, eight by four? Um, let's just say we're gonna put those on the edge and then you um, screw it into the wood so that they don't move. And I don't even wanna ruin it, but you basically would hook it. So that it looks like there's a yellow one here and a gray one there. And you would hook these during your project. Look at this, we're professionals. We haven't even read the instructions yet. We haven't even instructions. <laughs> <laughs> but this is how it's going to work. Like when you're in the software, so it has its own software um, that you use on the computer and it's all Wi-Fi. So it's not Bluetooth, which to me was a little bit of a downfall. I wish that it had Bluetooth capabilities, but it's Wi-Fi capabil capabilities. So I'm hoping that that works well. Um, our Wi-Fi in our area is kind of sketchy, so we're hoping it's going to be fine. But these will stay connected to it and that's what's going to help it um, know its directions. Know its directions. Yeah. Yeah, so super cool. Um, and then again, what was this one? This is uh, the, the, power cord. the power cord stand. Yeah, sweet. So you can see that it goes up and down. Yeah. And then right here probably is where the power is. The power cord. Mm -hmm. Oh look, here's the user's manual. I like the packaging. I feel like, I feel like it came really secure. Yeah. So. Yeah, especially coming from a, an entirely different country, you guys. Um, it looks like it was shipped just fine. So here's the power cord. And of course, you would have this this one hooked there, right? And then this has like a little doohickey. How do you do it? Oh, just like that. It clips. It just looks, see, like that. And then that way, keeps it, out of the way. it keeps it out of the way when it's actually working. Um, the other thing that's really awesome about this cutting machine is a lot of the cutting machines out there, or if you're going to do it by hand, like with a router, you're going to get a ton of dust. Um, and this one, one of the things that sold us on it is it has somewhat of a dust collector so that it doesn't get crazy messy. In fact, the person, I wish I could remember her name off the top of my head, but I'll um, make sure that I link her TikTok in the description below. Uh, but basically she makes silhouettes and stuff like that. And she did a fun tutorial, just a quick one on some of her silhouettes, but she was doing it inside of her home. So she had like emptied out a whole space and was cutting inside of her home. And she was saying that there's hardly any dust. And so it didn't worry her to have that being done in her home. So kind of cool. Um, so there's your dust collector. It's just going to go on down here. So, and it does. Okay. So it does come with a bit. We were curious if it came with a bit. <clears throat> This one says it's a 58 millimeter bit, so we can we can cut something. And then what's this? Oh, this goes with the bit. It's called the collet. The collet. See, that's collet. why that's why he's here. He's here to teach me. Comes with the wrench, <clears throat> and then the USB cables. These are used to connect the light to the PC or to charge the positioning sensors in the case of a low battery. Oh, so you, these need to be charged, I guess. Yeah. Oh yeah. So there you go, you charge them from the back. Okay. Are we missing anything? What's this thing? Did, did you find this? That thing. Yeah. Oh, right there. So what's that? That's the spindle brushes. What are those are used for? Spare brush, oh, spare brushes for router maintenance. Okay, so it looks like everything on here. Oh, this is two USB cables. Yeah. Oh, one for each, I guess. So you can charge them at the same time. Yeah. And then you get your bit right here. Uh, yeah. Very cool. So super excited to get it out, get trying, um, get the software downloaded on our computer, and start playing with it. I think that's going to be our biggest thing to overcome is learning the software. Anytime you've got a new software and, and have to relearn it, I think that's what's going to take us a little bit of time. Yeah. But super excited to try it. I know um, today is Saturday, the 15th of October. So we have some time left before Halloween. So maybe we could cut some fun Halloween silhouettes. Yeah, I think that'd be sweet. Yeah. Then I'll have to do it by hand. <laughs> yeah, super excited. Anyways, I hope you guys are as excited as we are. Let me know down in the comments below if this is something you're going to look forward to. Um, 
and we'll bring you some more content. So hopefully within the next week or so, we'll do our first cut and we'll, we'll let you guys tag along and make a quick tutorial on how we do it. And you guys can like in all of my other videos, you can learn from my mistakes so that you don't have to make them too. <clears throat> Guess what? I think I was wrong. <laughs> that's not the dust collector. That's the, it covers yeah, so the router. Is, yeah. And this is like, the, this is the whole dust collector system in here. Yeah, right here. Cause if you turn it around, right here and you undo this, that's all, all the dust is inside there. And this whole thing comes off. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah. It's a great user manual. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything's in English. I was a little nervous that it would be in Italian or something since I bought it from Italy, but it's very user friendly, easy to follow, easy to read, um, colored. So it talks about each part and then talks about like, it says like the wills, number one. So then I can go back and I look up number one and it's gonna tell me all about the wills. So kind of cool. But maybe the first thing we do, since this was like right there on top, is the instructions to remove the pogo pins, plastic protection. So let's go ahead and just do that as part of the video. Okay, right here. So, okay, well, did you read it? As soon as you receive the Goliath system, you have to remove the plastic protection, A, over the two pogo pins under the spindle. See picture one and two. If they seem broken or damaged, picture three below, please contact us immediately. Oh, so those, oh, they're like, oh, can you hold that up and show the camera? Good night, are you serious? Yes, <laughs> I'm so serious. Okay. You can do it. Let's show them the little pogo things. Yeah. Okay, so, and I'll show you what this picture's showing. Sorry, honey. <laughs> so it's basically sh these right here. So you can see that that one was damaged. So it's like, if it shows up looking like this, um, that you would contact them, but they were straight and they looked good. Well, that was easy. Very cool. What about uh, putting the router in? How hard is that? Uh, it's already in there. So that's kind of a nice thing is that you don't have to buy your own router. <clears throat> it already has one installed. It looks like it's clamped in pretty good. I'm sure you could adjust it if you needed to, but um, I would think that they have it set at factory settings. So yeah, um, yeah it's, it's bolted in really good housing, very strong. It's got your um, speed variations here. So depending on the type of wood and bit you're using, you'll want to adjust that. So, and I assume to be able to put the, like, is, do you know how to put a bit in? Is it the same as like your router out in the garage? Mm -hmm. It's going to be an easy thing? Yep, exact same thing. Awesome. <clears throat> well, that's easy enough. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm acting like it's easy, but I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. I, you guys are going to learn with me. He's going to help me learn and, and um, <clears throat> we'll learn as we go. Those wheels are too cool. Oh, I keep messing with it. It's fun. <laughs> right? So cool. Okay. Well, you guys make sure that you catch us in the next tutorial where we are actually going to get this thing run in and make a few cuts. We will make sure that we have in the tutorial, you know, the different parts um, of the machine, how to put the router in, uh, all that fun stuff. So again, like I said, you're gonna learn along with us because we don't know how to use this machine yet. And we'll, we'll make sure we film it as we do, <laughs> right? <laughs> yep. So if you guys are interested in following future tutorials on the Goliath, please make sure that you leave a comment below so that I know that this is something that interests you. Um, I may continue to do it here on Emma's Cottage or we may possibly create a different YouTube channel where we'll do just woodworking. So just let me know in the comments below if you're like, yeah, no, I'm not interested at all or hey, that actually seems kind of cool. Um, I, I just thought about this. More than likely, people are gonna question the cost. It was, it was around 4,000. Um, it, it is a nicer CNC machine. You can definitely get cheaper CNC machines, but for the size that this can cut, for those size CNC machines, you're looking at 10,000 or more typically. So that's why we decided on this one because A, it's gonna be way easier to store. Like it's small and compact so we can easily store it in a garage. Whereas those, you know, a CNC machine that's going to yeah, cut a, table, a four by eight sheet. Yeah. Four by eight sheet. <laughs> yeah, like it's stationary. It's stationary. And you, and you always have it set up mm -hmm. on it. What is it? The Y axis, the Z axis. Am I even close? Yeah. They have the X and like Y, that. whatever. Right. <laughs> you don't take it apart. Like it stays together all the time. I guess you could take it apart to store it, but most no. people don't. They usually will keep it up. Mm -hmm. And we just weren't interested in storing something that large in our garage. Yeah. Or just simple DIY. Maybe. Yeah. Simple DIY. We're super excited to try this out. Um, yeah, so we'll see. Yeah. But yeah, 
make sure that you stay tuned, watch for the next tutorials. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. But the most important thing, you guys, ring that bell so that you will get notified when we actually do post our next tutorial. Until next time, we'll see you later, friends.